All right, so it's been a day, and I've taken some time to do a few more matches uh, for Pawns of Loki, as you can tell. Um, and I noticed some things that are probably a little bit... Uh, that, that I probably could have done a little bit differently last time. Uh, so, first of all, uh, Lanku and Surtur didn't have, um, you know, uh, F-slot skills. Uh, they didn't have seals on. Uh, Hawkeye was the only one who did. Uh, you want to be sure you do that? Because <laughs> if you don't, like, you're running... You're not playing to your fullest potential. Like, you're giving up something for free. Uh, so I'm putting uh, Flashing Blade on Lanku, and I'm giving Surtur some extra bulk, because that's generally what we want from him. Um, aside from that, um, I've also noticed that I've only got two flying units, uh, and if you wish to make the most of your uh, team, you want to get... If you, if you want to make the most of your units, you want to be sure you get a couple of pairs in there. So right now we've got one uh, cavalry, and we've got two flying units. We got a bunch of infantry that we could probably ditch for some cavalry, uh, and we've got some... Uh, armor, which we could also ditch for some, uh, flying, perhaps. So, uh, I was talking about using Altina a little bit ago, and I think she might, um, shoot, she might be good in place of Marth for the time being, since his buffs aren't going to be as helpful in this mode as someone like, um, as someone like Astrum, for example, um, or potentially even someone like, who else gives buffs? Uh, Tiki gives good buffs. Uh, we're looking for fuel buffs, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we could put, um, Marth in the back lines to give more uh, to give more bulk to our frontline units, but he's probably not going to need um, he's probably not going to need all this defense and res. So right now he's stuck at a point where he can support his teammates. It's it's tough between these two. And honestly, I don't want to ditch either one. So what we might do is we might... <sighs> we might ditch Sothis. We might ditch Sothis. Uh, the, uh, the problem being that she's our only uh, red dragon. Uh, we might ditch Corrin. I think ditching Corrin's the play here, to be completely honest. Yeah, she's got she's got a speed res solo. How how often? And she's got the frontline tanking like build. So so let's go in with Altina instead, giving us another uh, sword to work with. Um, and we could probably drop uh, another uh, red fighter. Um, as a result. But we don't have a lot of... Well, we could probably drop Young Marth, but he's got... Uh, we don't have a lot of frontline reds, so she'd work for frontline red. I don't think Sothis is going to work as a frontline red. Uh, so... I'm going to replace her with... Tibarn. Or leg yarn. Can replace her with leg yarn. Or Sigbert. I think Sigbert might be the play. 
I think Sigbert's the play. No, not tanky enough. Ishtar, no. Ishtar's a backline unit. You could do Ishtar for Long Coup, but I like Gale Force over Blazing Wind here. I think we're good for now. I'm not going to overthink this. Um, but in addition to that, um, you do want to get your pairs early, so sometimes doing something like that might be a good strategy. Um, especially if it's uh, someone like Hawkeye who has Mystic Boost. And he uh, recovers 6 HP per round. Um, but yeah, you generally want to go for your trios early game. Uh, especially for fighters you want to improve a whole lot. Uh, we're going to have some pretty good frontline with Hawkeye and Gwendolyn leveling up. And ultimately I feel like it's better to go with... Uh, tanks in the early game than uh, sweepers uh, simply because you're going to get a lot more you're, you're going to get a decent amount of points uh, for doing that uh, also note that by going with Gwendolyn and uh, Hawkeye we now have um, two uh, lances and two axes so we get a weapon type of four uh, also, we have two armors and two infantry, so we've got movement uh, type pair bonus. Um, if we were to put in two more Altinas, that'd give us two. That would give us six here, six here. Um, and that would actually be pretty good because we'd also get um, a mixed movement type bonus here. So getting those alliances early is pretty good. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, we're going to get a uh, flying bonus if we put in Altina now. Uh, and we get the um, sword bonus for putting her in there. And I want to put in... We've got... Yes, okay, everything's going according to plan right now. Um, so we've got some very, we got some very good builds right here. Um, let's review. We've got some attack on the front line. 30 attack versus 21 defense. Got the, um, buff, which is going to add 6 damage. Um... Attacks twice. Oh, yeah, Morgan's Morgan's wrecked there. Uh, one other thing I noticed here is that you see here how they have one followed by Lucina. This is Lucina's specific board. So you see how it's got Robin and Lanku, Na, and Morgan. Uh, and, and I believe they are themed for in-game fighters or or character or in-game units uh so lucina's gonna have a lot of awakening or if you're facing um uh sigurd it's gonna be all um uh fe4 um fighters genealogy fighters there you go um additionally Having uh, Altina here is a safe spot for her because individuals will always attack the units in front of them um, for top priority. So we're pretty safe with Hawkeye here because he can tank uh, Lanku and he can definitely tank Morgan. So they both initiate on him. Hawkeye is going to... Uh, quick repost, um, both of them get his health back, get some Mystic Boost going. 
And honestly, this is a very good combo for this particular mode. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, we also have... Um, also take note that when he hits level 30, that's when he gets his full kit. Um, folks who are at level... Um, below level 20 uh, get, I think, like the first stage of their particular kit and then 20 to 30 is the second stage uh 30 onward is the full kit uh apropos of that you know i like wendelin against ma here but i really wish we also had actually i like I like Altina here, actually, instead. I like Altina here instead. Because they've got Brazen Attack Res. Which is absolutely going to help against Na. It might help against Robin, too. So we've got our bonuses. Very tanky fighters right now. So this is going really well um, for us at this point. Once we slot in Gwendolyn here, she's going to go um, level 29. And I want you to take note of how her um, of how her skills change. So let's look at them now. And when she goes up to level 29, look at them now. Right, so... Big difference between... Um, level 19, level 29, and um, as mentioned last time, every time you upgrade someone, they gain 10 levels, but additionally, everyone else gains two levels, uh, which is what you really want to go for. Um, optimally, we'd want another armor on the board, so I'm going to slide an elo wood here. Um... And do I want to trio Altina now? That is the question. Because if we trio Altina, we lose our bonus here. But she becomes a lot stronger. And I guess that question comes down to how are the rest of your teammates? Because if we upgrade Altina now, Gwendolyn moves from 29 to 31. Um, and then we could move... We could move Hawkeye here to cover these folks. Uh, Gwendolyn can then take on this Ike. We can hide Ellawood here to keep the uh, to keep the armor class pair bonus going, although ultimately we don't need to. So uh, so what we're gonna yeah we're just gonna go ahead and go with it, and look at that, that's a big bonus for Gwendolyn, like she is one of the best uh, enemy phase units in um, in the uh, game now. Also uh, another note to. Uh, Another note here is we're against Micaiah. So we've got Micaiah, and then we've got all uh, POR units. Well, they're Radiant Dawn, so... Um, and Micaiah. Um, so... It could be either. Doesn't matter. Um, man, if only Altina was, like, level... Ugh, if she was there... Because right now she's got a weakness to sh uh, Shannon. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, it's early game. We're going to move her to the back. 
Attack speed push. 29 speed. Oh, she's not a great she's not a great early game unit because she needs like her preference skills. So we're gonna hide her. And I'm gonna hide. Yeah, yeah, we want our frontline units to do some a lot of the work here. Hawkeye just doesn't take damage. And then here comes uh, a very unlucky surf. Oh, no, that one hit. Wonder if that surf had wind sweep? Nah. So we didn't get the uh, kill there. And if you can completely wipe out your opponent, you get an extra 50 points upon to your victory bonus. Uh, we didn't get that. Um, since we left that surf alive. It's something of a drop in the bucket, but it's it's a nice bonus. Uh, that could make the big difference between... Uh, but when you think about it, when you think about it, it doesn't make a huge difference. It's probably more of a cascade effect that you're going to get your um, points added on due to uh, the HP uh, bonus you've accrued. What I want to do is, as soon as I can get that Altina paired, I want to do that. In the meantime, we can take advantage of the Surter very much. Um... And is there anyone we could... Yeah, let's slot in that Altina for an extra bonus here. We could even put Ellawood here on the back line to get an extra attacker and some extra HP on the board. And what the heck, why not go with Astrum as well? Now we've got uh, a few. Now we've got now we've got three pairs here. So if you want to think about it, like you want to think about it more like poker than you would about or like or like rummy than you would think about it uh, like Dota Underlords or Otter Chess proper. Gale Force is so busted in this uh, mode. I love it. I think we're gonna get a full team wipe here. Yeah, we did it. And I don't think a single person took damage. Or people took damage, but they healed. Uh, so that was Marth. We're back to Lucina's board, and those Morgans she had before are a lot stronger now. Um, very low defense, so having them on the back line is a good call. What I don't understand is putting Saul on the back line and Lanku on the front line. Um, and that's an issue they'll have to deal with. So we can move Altina to the front line now because she has her uh, um, she has Astros Chosen now which is going to uh, negate effective against flying bonuses no, get back on the board um, Gwendolyn can counter Long Ku, Hawkeye can counter Robin um 
are we worried about Stall fighting Hawkeye? I don't think so. But I want to put an Elwood behind him just because, like, even though he's only five levels lower, he's going to do some serious work to Stall because of that uh, Panther Sword effect. Uh, Gwendolyn can solo this squad. Um, I don't like Surtur against Na, but he has good resistance. I guess we could put Altina there. Ultimately, having a strong um, blue here would... We'll do this. We'll do that. Because Altina versus Lanku is going to be fine. Uh, what's this? Yeah. Yeah, so she'll be pretty good good if she had a damage restore if she had a uh, HP restoring move that would be even better um yeah Gwendolyn can tank all this and who do we want against Tiki that's effective against dragons right yeah uh uh well okay so if we move Surtur here, he hits her for... <sighs> He's going to hit her for that damage and 20 HP. But keep in mind that she's going to get a buff from her combo bonus. So... Having a blue here would really help. Ephraim can't tank here, really. Elowood can't really tank here. I think we're gonna try this and see how it works. Does Astrum have? No, he doesn't have his preference weapon. Let's see how this works. sucks. So you can see we kind of failed there pretty hard. Uh, we lost two units, which you never want to have happen, um, ever. We can get it back this round, though, fortunately. Oh, that was so bad. Now we want Astrum to um, get his uh, Mercurius buff here. So this is going to help out anyone with... Um, with a with uh, physical uh, damage attacks, so unfortunately Robin doesn't get to take advantage of the buff. But all of but all of these, you everyone but Hawkeye gets to take advantage of it. And come to think of it, Elliwood gets his Slang Lance now. Uh, he has 51 HP, so he is gonna hit these folks with Panic Ploy. And that's going to be very good. Um, we can move Robin here to tank. Because, yeah, she, she has resistance to... What does the Nani Tome do? Oh, right. That, that, that shit. Uh, so... Move you here. 
Or do we want... I think we want Hawkeye here. We'll move Hawkeye here because... Oh. Who, who would give Sith Axe Breaker? That's kind of mean, but sure, fine. We, sh uh, whatever. Uh, oh, great Lance. Seth doesn't come with the Axe Breaker naturally, right? I think this is the lineup we want. Who's got faster speed? Elowood's technically faster than Hawkeye, so Elowood should move before Hawkeye does. Uh, everyone on the board is level 30 or higher, so everyone's got their full kit. Um, the only matchup I have hesitation here with is, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, yeah. I had, I had an issue with Astrum uh, going against Jill, because Jill is level 45, Astrum is level 33, and even though he gets, um, even though he gets the buff, um, and bonus doubler, I just don't feel comfortable with that level difference. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then we got two flyers. We got, uh, four armor. We got two infantry. So I think this is good. Okay, good start. Okay, great start. Okay, good, good, good. Good. All right. Good. Excellent. And can... Oh my goodness. Okay, that was, that was really good. Um... Oh my goodness. So now we can add another armor. And we're, we're looking for a cav. I want to put a cavalier on there. Oh, man. I'll put you on the sidelines because if I can't find a cavalier... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Like... All right. Everyone just stand back and let Altina work. That's that's how this is going to go now. Oh my goodness. Look at look at these stats. Look at how ridiculous these stats can get in this in this game mode. Oh my god. This is they're going to get wrecked. They're going to get absolutely wrecked. <sighs> Uh. Oh, they're gonna get absolutely wrecked. Who do I want to do against Kane? Um. So we want to make sure we don't have weapon triangle advantage. We want to make sure we have weapon triangle advantage against her. Um, Astrum's buff hits everyone except Gwendolyn. Let's have it hit Gwendolyn. I don't think Altina. <laughs> I don't think she needs the stats. Uh, that should be pretty good. We're gonna. 
For the first time, we're fighting at a combo disadvantage here, but that's okay. Ugh, come on! Surter couldn't pull through. I failed again. Uh, I think these Norns are going to... I think this Norn's gonna... yeah. Oh, goodness! Gwendolyn doesn't have distant counter, so... I lost that one, too. Oh well. I mean, that's not a high score for me. Um, but... That's a slightly... more robust way to play Pawns of Loki. I made a bunch of mistakes there. I made a bunch of really silly mistakes, and that's gonna cost me in the long term if I keep playing that way. Uh, but hopefully this video helped you see um, decent ways to play around with uh, strategy in Pawns of uh, Loki. And hopefully this helped you see some mistakes you can avoid and potential builds for your team. So hope that helped. Um, and yeah, talk to you again soon. Take care.